OK, so next I would invite Bronwyn McClellan to the table, um, representing the Friends of Poor Hour Reserve. Good afternoon. All right, so you've got five minutes to make the presentation. Awesome. Okay, thank you for this opportunity. I'm Bronwyn McLennan, and I represent Friends of Pura Reserve, which is bordering Dyer's Pass Road. We need each other. Your goals in your biodiversity strategy are to protect, maintain, and restore a natural environment, ensuring our resources and environment are here not only for us, but for our children and future generations. Pest plants and animals must be controlled to protect our native plants and animals. So this is part of your strategy. As a resident bordering the reserve, I started the Friends of Purao with generous help and guidance of Heidi Wilton, Christchurch City Council Park Ranger. Since last year, we have engaged over 35 volunteers, everyone from preschoolers, business owners, to retirees from the local community. Together, we have totaled 280 hours of work in the reserve. We only um, inaugurated back in July, which is the equivalent to seven weeks at 40 hours a week. We have planted natives, wheelbarrowed in gravel for the path, removed pest plants and paid for a park bench seat. We also have created a community of new friends. Heidi Wilton helps us where she can, but I'm aware she is stretched. In 2017, she had nine volunteer groups to assist. She now has over 45. We need more rangers. Nicholas Head, the senior ecologist for the council, has stated Purao Reserve has good potential to restore native forest appropriate for the site. We do need funding to remove large sycamore so we, we can replace with native species that will feed endemic birds and wildlife. This is the sticking point. Gaining funding has been particularly difficult. And I've been told by a council member that we don't want to remove a healthy tree, even if it is a weed species. We can have Tui downtown alongside the Avon, but we need to create a corridor linking us to Banks Peninsula. I believe predator-free New Zealand starts in our cities, not Fiordland, in our cities. And we have the volunteers on the ground ready and keen to plant natives, remove weeds and trap predators. The national parks are a massive task, but we can do this right here in our city. Wellington has declared the suburb of Miramar pest free, and they have flocks of kaka downtown. And I've heard more pork in Green Lane in Auckland. But together we can do this. We've got the uh, volunteer power and we've got the backing. We just need more green lights, more funding. So um, that's me. Is there any questions? Great. Thank you very much. Are there questions? Tim. Hi, Bronwyn. Thank you for coming and great presentation. Um, we only have two community rangers, so we set out, as you know, to, to, to work with volunteers and they were overworked. Do you know of other groups that would like to pick up reserves, as you have done, that, that are unable to because of the lack of support, not just financial, but of the, the ranger's support? Because I know Heidi's outstanding. But do you know of other groups? I, I don't know specifically of um, yeah, other groups, but um, yeah. I, I don't know if people feel enabled. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they know that it's possible. Um, that they can just go to their mm. local reserve and talk to a park ranger and say, hey, can we do some work here? Yeah. I think people just don't know that they can. Yeah. Mm. And it would be very hard to because of Heidi, et cetera, are, are just flat out, aren't they? Yes, they're not, yeah. they're not terribly visible because they're just so, so busy where they are. They, yeah. yeah. I'll take one further question yeah. from Sarah. 
Yeah. Um, would you support us setting up some sort of like a adopt a park, adopt a reserve kind of thing that made it more visible and had sort of a contact point and and those kind of things so that people individually individuals could move into the system more easily? Maybe if there was um, like a sign or something. Um, yeah. It, you're re regarding the park rangers. Well, just like an, it's so to enable more community groups to do what you're doing. Yes. You know, some sort of actual sort of system that was set up to do it, to enable more community groups to look after our parks and reserves and, and those kind of things. Well, you, you do have signage in the reserve, so maybe something on there, you know, yeah. saying, hey, do you want to lend a hand? Yeah. Here's someone to contact. Mm. That might be a good starting point. But mm. people are keen. Yeah. They, yeah. They, he, I tell them about what we're doing, and they're like, oh, wow, we could do this. Mm. Were there more questions? Okay, that brings us to the end of the time for the submission, unfortunately. But look, thanks for coming along and presenting to us today, and also for your answers to questions. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. All right, so our